Could have much to say for himself last night. Leave it. I told you, the car's in the pub, he was with me. All night. Oh, shut up. Don't get why I sold his van. Well, you don't need to get it, because it's got nothing to do with you. So what's he done with the money? He's given some to his ex, she was putting him under a lot of pressure. I wouldn't buy the rest of it. He saved it. Are you sure about that? Will you be quiet? Just leave it. I really don't need the hassle. I think the baby's playing football with Mummy's bladder. Although we're not supposed to talk about Mummy's bladder, she gets very touchy. Will the baby be here soon? Yeah, not long now, sweetness. We'll all be playing football together. He's a baby and I hate football. <laughs> Tennis then, I'll buy you a racket. We haven't got any money. Why do you think that? I heard you on the phone asking your dad for some. I've got ten pounds in my piggy bank, you can have that. You keep it. Thank you. Sorry about yesterday again. Yeah, you said. Like, I've got no idea how I got dragged into it, why my name came up. Have you not? Well, you do believe me, right? I, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Well, can we just leave it? More interesting getting there to eat some. Nothing all right? No. No. Apparently, I'm not allowed to ask questions, but I can't stop myself. Because if he did rob this place, you'd want to know, right? How's Debbie? Don't get me started. I don't know what she's playing at. What do you mean? Defending him all the time. Giving him an alibi for the whole night. When we all know that's not possible. He was in the house. Just because he was on the sofa doesn't make him guilty. I mean, she couldn't have been watching him all night. He was on the sofa. <sighs> Maybe I got that wrong. My daughter lied for that idiot. Get in touch. I won't hurt him. No, Watch. think of Debbie, okay? Just come into the back room and calm down, yeah? Do you really want her being dragged down to the police station again? Do you? Well, go on then. The police have let it go. Why can't you? Because now I know she lied, covered for him. This is all in your head. Look, I was out that night. So was Sarah. Debbie was knackered. I mean, it was the perfect setup. Doesn't make him guilty. He's hiding something. And a car got nicked from the garage, or at least he said it was. It's all adding up. Two, nothing. You've got it wrong. I've always known there was something not right with him. Pack us home, Nick, please. No. No. She's something. No. Oh, sorry. Salt and vinegar. Like this in your head. Why are you not listening to what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to stop you from doing something stupid. I'm going to find out what he's up to. No, Kane, 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 please don't. I'm going to get that money back for you, Chaz, and maybe then you believe me. It wasn't Cameron. No, we'll see. No, he knows nothing. But I do. Well, come on then. It was me. I did it. Oh, sorry, isn't it enough? And it doesn't even begin to cover it, but I am. You're lying. Why would I? Because you don't do things like this. I do. Charity does, but you don't. Get out! Well, there's nobody behind the back. We don't care. Are you OK? Can you cover? Well, yeah, of course. Well, go on, then. You really did it. Can you leave us? No. I want to wear this. It's my money, our business. You can have it when I've finished. Why did you do it? I needed the money. But why? The wedding. I got myself into debt. And that's it? You stole from me for that? I only took what I needed. It wasn't really very much. I would have given you the money! What you did was unforgivable. You smashed the door in. You broke the till. You left mess everywhere. Gabby was here. 
Don't you think she's been through enough? I didn't think. Yes, you did. You planned it. This wasn't spur of the moment. And what about Cameron? Everyone thinks he did it. I'll sort that. Believe me, Diane, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Don't bet on that. I was desperate. No. Desperate is for things that are important. Andy and Debbie, so desperate to find a way of saving Sarah, they had to have another baby. I don't know what it is about me. I've been conned before. I had to sell half this place to you because of it. And you got the money by ripping off Carl. I should have known then I couldn't trust you. If I'd have thought there was any other way. There was. You could have talked to me. I couldn't. I'm calling the police. No, please, Diane, you can't. They think it was Cameron, and so does Debbie. She's pregnant, for God's sake. I never meant for her to get involved. You put her through hell. And for nothing. You could have put her mind at rest yesterday. I'll tell her. It's too late. You could have saved her all that stress. And I'll pay you back every penny. I promise. Damn right you will. Please, don't say anything. I will do whatever it takes to make it up to you. We're past that. Are you going to phone the police? <sighs> Thank you. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for all the people you're going to hurt. Him. And Debbie. It's the last thing I'd do for you. Look, once the wedding is over, I'm going to make it all right. Just give me until then, please. If I have to. But when it's over, so are me and you. I can't work with you. Or live with you. Not after this. I want you out. 